Thank you, Randy. I'll be quick. I'm the last one, and you can get to your questions. I want to just briefly address two points. Uh, you may have heard suggestions that the truckers have made their point, and they should now pack up and go. And you may have also heard that what needs to happen next is a negotiation. Both, I, both these ideas are misguided. They miss the point. The point is that vaccine mandates and other COVID rules are illegitimate. Not just bad policy, not just inconvenient, they are illegitimate. The truckers were very clear before they arrived. They are free people. They are not about to agree to not be free. I think you'll find the truckers regard their freedoms as non-negotiable. And I don't think you'll find them leaving until the mandates are gone. So there's really no point in pursuing negotiation. And in particular, there's nothing much that the city of Ottawa can do to achieve this aim. Now, yes, it is true that this whole problem, the mandates in various guises and other COVID rules, is both federal and provincial. Now, we happen to be in Ottawa, where the federal government is located, but that doesn't mean that they're saying it's a just a federal problem. This is federal and provincial. This is a national problem. So it is what it is. And it may carry on for a good while until the change that we need is achieved. Second, liberal democracies depend on the theory of the consent of the governed. The behavior of public authorities during this COVID period has undermined that consent. It has undermined trust in government institutions. These people, the truckers and the people who support them, are essentially saying they do not consent in the way that we're all assumed to consent. This is not a protest. This is a movement. It's organic. It's spontaneous. People of all kinds are pitching in to help. There are lots of organizations who are independently working together to support our truckers. And Please note, as you, I'm sure you're aware, Ottawa may be ground zero, but this is spreading far and wide, spontaneously, organically, in Canada and outside it. So don't think that this is, this is just the thing. This is just a few trucks blocking a few streets. That would be to misconstrue what is going on. People in this country have been sleeping, and our truckers have woken them up. It's significant not just because of COVID. Now, it looks like COVID is the problem. And believe me, COVID, the COVID rules, the COVID regime is the most immediate problem, for sure. But this is really a challenge to the nanny state, to the authority of our ruling class. And this is why they're so upset about this. It's not just a few streets being blocked. That's not a big deal. This is a challenge to the legitimacy and authority of our ruling class. There's a movement coming together that says, enough. We are challenging the idea, the very idea, that experts, officials, Politicians 
should be able to tell us how to live. And that transcends COVID. Once COVID rules are gone, then we have something else to talk about. Right. <laughs>